you may be asked on the AP test to look at utility maximization. The formula you need to remember is this one right here. The marginal utility of product X over the price of product X. If that equals the marginal utility of product Y over the price of product Y, then that consumer is maximizing their utility. So let me give you an example. You've got, so let's compare apples and oranges for this example. You've got a number of oranges, 0, 1, 2, 3, that's how many the consumer is purchasing, and then their total utility from purchasing that product. Then over here I've got number of apples, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, and the total utility that they get from uh, purchasing the apples. I've also been told the price of oranges is $1 per. I've also been told the price of apples is $2 per. First thing that you want to look at though is the marginal utility. And the marginal utility that we'll, we'll use is the last bit of marginal utility that they get off of the consumption of the last one. So marginal utility between here and here goes up by 20, then it goes up by 10, then it goes up by 5. So there's the marginal utility that we get from consuming more and more oranges. For apples, between here and here it was 30, between here and here it was 20, between here and here it's 10. So the number that you want to use is the last bit of marginal utility that we get from the consumption of the last one. So here we get five units of utility, additional units of utility, as we consume the last one. So that will be uh, the marginal utility of product X over the price of that product, which is $1. If that equals out, the last bit of marginal utility that we get from consuming this product, which is 10, over the price of that product, which is 2. Since both of those things reduce to 5, then this consumer is maximizing his utility. If it didn't come out to be equal, then the consumer wouldn't be maximizing their utility given their price and given the utility that they get from the consumption of the two products.